welcome back. In Chrome 64, we've got a new performance monitor, a new UI for filtering the console, and automatic message groupings in the console. The performance monitor gives you a real-time view of a whole bunch of performance metrics. To open the monitor, press Command-Shift-P on Mac or Control-Shift-P on Windows and Linux, start typing performance, then select Show Performance Monitor. The monitor opens up in what we call the drawer. Press Escape to hide or show the drawer. You can also explore all of the tabs in the drawer via this menu over here. Here on the left side of the monitor, we have the different metrics you can monitor in real time. The gray ones are hidden. Click a metric to hide or show it. Note that the color coding on the CPU usage chart is the same as the color coding in performance panel recordings. Note also that the frames metric refers to document frames, not frames per second. If you want frames per second, use the FPS meter, which you can open via the command menu. If your pages are logging a lot of messages, the new console sidebar can help you filter out the noise and focus on the messages that you care about. Over in the console, the sidebar is hidden by default. Click Show Console Sidebar to open it. This top item is equivalent to showing all messages. Expand it, then select one of the scripts below to only show messages coming from that script. When you want to focus on messages with a certain severity level, such as errors or warnings, click that item to show all messages with that level or expand the level and select one of the scripts below it to only show messages from that script that match that severity level. Note that the info level includes console.log and console.info messages. You can combine the sidebar with the filter text box for some pretty specific filtering. For example, you can enter a regular expression in the filter box, or you can type a minus sign followed by some text, and the console hides any message that includes that text. The last feature we've got coming in Chrome 64 is automatic message groupings in the console. Over here, you can see that the console now groups similar messages together. This badge over here tells you how many times that message was logged. Click to expand the grouping and see each individual message. You can uncheck the group similar checkbox if you don't want this behavior. That's all for Chrome 64. Here's a bonus tip that makes it easier to work with elements that have hover effects. Here I'm looking at a little demo that showcases a bunch of different hover effects. Suppose I want to inspect or tweak what CSS gets applied to this element when I hover over it. I could go back and forth between making my changes in DevTools, then manually hovering over the element, but there's an easier way. Inspect the element, then open the toggle element state menu, then check hover, and I force the element into the hover state, even though I'm not actually hovering over it. DevTools puts a little orange dot next to the element in the DOM tree to remind you that you're messing with its state. That's it, thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 65.